Hello, fellow travelers. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey. And I'm here today to get to the basics of human design and to talk about the four types. The four types of aura. Because this is actually what the four types is about. Um, we have the energy and the non-energy types. Uh, the energy types are manifestors and generators. And the non-energy types are projectors and reflectors. So we have the power, um, the the force, the energy, and we have the awareness, um, the non-energy and energy effectiveness specialization. And when we talk about the four types, we actually talk about four types of aura. Aura is um, the auric field around us is an energy field, which um, is um, scientifically proven that exists. And it is about uh, three meters in diameter around us like a balloon. And it passes through everything, through walls, through um, the air, obviously the water, everything. So if we're in one room and there is somebody in the room next to us or above or below, if it is um, less than four meters, roughly, if our auras are three meters each, so three and a half, four meters apart, then we are in the other person's aura, in the dog's aura, in the bird's aura, uh, in some insect aura, in some uh, fish or reptile or... Mm, plant aura actually so we are in a constant auric interconnectedness and interference and practically we're having auric um, um, engagement and, and we're oracly communicating with multiple um, living things, living beings. And we are, uh, in a way, interacting and uh, influencing each other and impacting each other. Uh, but the aura is what um, gives us our type. The type in human design was actually, uh, came much later uh, for convenience. So at the beginning, we were more talking about to do or to wait. So more the energy and non-energy. So to do and to wait. And um, later we came, uh, uh, the four auras uh, were specifically uh, put into four types. So let's look at the auras. Uh, we have the generator aura, which is open and enveloping. So it is um, very um, buzzy, warm and fuzzy and um, fuzzy bunny aura type. Uh, calls it actually Ra. But it is a very um, open and it's really enveloping um people in it like in a warm hug uh so this is an aura which is not protected apparently it is open for impact it is open for influence it is open for conditioning and hence the strategy is to wait to respond so to wait for the universe to come and to practically propose its table of abundance to the generator and the biggest fear 
of the generator is that nobody will ask, that the universe will not deliver, that it will not come. Um, but actually, it is an open and enveloping aura which is attracting. It's attracting to it. And all of us are endowed with a, a magnetic monopole which has only one fu function. It pulls. It's a monopole. It's magnetic, but it's monopole. So it only pulls towards us uh, the correct circumstances, people, um, and places. So practically human design um, is the science of no resistance, of of letting go of control and letting this magnetic monopole, this chauffeur, this driver of the vehicle of our body to do its job and to pull the right things to us. So the generator has an open and enveloping aura, pulling the right things. And here with the possibility of, and the energy to respond to them or not. So it's mm-hmm or mm -mm. that's for me, that's not for me. And the only way the generator is really protected and knows when something is correct for them is when they wait for things to come. Uh, with the open aura, as we said, we are not protected. And that's why it's the, the, the generator is not built to initiate. Um, not built to um, uh, to push through because it's an open aura. And if we look at the manifester, which is the next type, they have a closed and repelling aura. They're built to initiate. They're built to manifest. They're built to to pierce through new territory, to be the, the spark, to ignite the fires, to uh, push through. And they are built energetically for that. Their aura is repelling, it's pushing. It is pushing other auras away. Uh, and it is like, um, we can imagine, it is like... Um, um, like a bowling ball, which just pushes uh, away everything from its um, way. That's why um, it is um, a good idea for the manifester to um, make, to relax people around them and um, <laughs> uh, make them feel at ease when the manifester informs before they act, before they they push with their aura, before they repel, before they impact. Um, it's good that they ask you, are you ready for my impact? Because I'm coming. It's like a big um, truck coming full speed and somebody crossing the street well uh, obviously you cannot stop the truck you're at such a full speed or let's say it's a train so the only thing the manifester has time to do is actually um put the um, uh, make a sound uh make the, the beeper or um the siren whatever uh to let know that they're coming for impact Then we have the third aura of the projector, which is focused and absorbing. So it directly connects to the G center in the other person with the laser, like um, laser sharp aura. And actually the aura is moving with the eyes of the projector. So they have piercing eyes, piercing aura, which gets into the other person's aura and looks for the identity for who that person is so that the projector finds um, the um, authentic 
essence of that person so they can guide them eventually if invited, if recognized and invited um, to work with that energy, to bring efficacy and efficiency, uh, to, to laser blade with a laser blade to make um, surgical uh, fine tuning to to guide to navigate that person to be to shine to um, to be more effective and to um, to to connect to their authenticity um, and that um, focused aura at the same time is absorbing so it is also not protected it is absorbing everything back uh, with laser sharpness so it is an energy which signs and becomes a slave to the other when they sign to that agreement to, of um, of working with that energy so it's a um, double blade sword um, they pierce the other and they're pierced back then we have the last um aura aura type and it is the reflector's aura it is resistant and sampling aura they have built-in mechanism for um teflon type of um, auric interaction with the other they are very open they have nine uh white centers nine open centers open for um interaction for influence for um reading the other for reading the program for reading the energy and uh, if the projector is here to read the energy of the other the reflector is here to sample and to measure and gauge um the other and the whole community there is there are uh one percent one point uh six percent reflector so on every hundred people there's one you see their role is for the bigger community for uh to reflect back the community so they sample they take small samples and they um have a resisting aura resistant aura which can close and um they can be distant they can distance themselves and that's important for their measurement capabilities for objective measurement um but this is aura which is also not uh, completely protected although it is resistant um, so they're also not here to initiate. They're actually here to sample uh, and and measure uh, during extended period of time, actually a month, so as to have uh, the entire puzzle, pattern, picture, envelope in front of them. These are the four aura types, and this is where the um strategy of different types comes from so for the reflector it would be to wait the lunar cycle they are the lunar being connected to the moon um and you see the moon reflects the sunlight and there is a dark side of the moon so it takes time for the reflector to sample both before they take their decision to wait to respond, to wait for invitation, to inform before acting, and to wait for the lunar cycle are the four strategies of the four types based on the uh, auric wisdom. If you want to know more about the types, different types, the different um, authorities, and more about human design, like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Ah, and if you want to visit my website, humandesignjourney.com, or my Facebook page with the same name, YouTube channel, it's O Human Design Journey.
So bye, fellow travelers. See you soon.